Google Earth is known to be the go-to application when you need real-life image feeds of any place on Earth from anywhere. However, for some odd reasons, there are some pretty known places that are just intentionally blacked out from Google Earth. From an island that is secretly used for atomic energy research to a place where criminals run to. Here are the most mysterious black sites on Google Earth. But first, take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more amazing stories. Parasol Islands, China the Huangso Archipelago, commonly known as the Parasol Islands, is a collection of around 130 tiny islands and coral reefs in the South China Sea. It's also the site of one of Google Earth's enigmatic black spots. For unknown reasons, Google Earth shows a succession of hazy and blacked-out photographs of this location, which humans rarely observe. The parasols were also the location of the Dragon Hole, the deepest underwater sinkhole in the world, which appears to have been purposely removed from Google Earth. The eye of the South China Sea, according to local fishermen, is around a thousand feet deep. Despite the absence of satellite images, dragon holes have been captured on camera. However, the Chinese government didn't make the information public until a little more than ten years ago. Legend has it that the Dragon Pit is where the much-fabled Monkey King once discovered his golden cudgel, according to the intrigue of this area. Many people have looked for an explanation as to why the location cannot be seen on Google Earth. Locations that potentially pose a security risk due to discovery are normally the only ones that would be subject to blurring or blacking out measures. The Parasol Islands, a long disputed area, may be the subject of a political battle, according to the most plausible working explanation for why Google would conceal these places. The archipelago, which had a population of more than a thousand in 2014, is also claimed by the Socialist Republic of Vietnam and Taiwan, in addition to the Republic of China. Numerous wars have occurred since the end of World War II, notably the Battle of the Parasol Islands in 1974, in which the South Vietnamese failed to drive away the Chinese occupants. Images from more recent years have surfaced, claiming to show the Parasol Islands developing enigmatic constructions. As a result, many have made the assumption that Beijing may be bolstering its military to support its claim to the islands. China seems to be getting more and more hesitant to lift its restrictions, even while the destiny of the parasols is still undetermined and highly contested. Jeanette Island The location of Jeanette Island, a three-square-kilometer landmass that the Russian Federation administratively controls, may be found as a sinister black splotch in the East Siberian Sea on Google Maps. Jeanette Island wasn't found until the late 19th century, when a fatal expedition headed for the North Pole accidentally discovered it. Jeanette Island has generated a lot of mystery and conspiracies, despite being a newly found and apparently deserted place. There are no conclusive reasons as to why Google Earth sensors have disguised the island, despite it being in a politically sensitive region of Russia. Some even claim that pictures from as far back as the 1980s had the island blocked out. While many have said that this is just a malfunction, some believe that this explanation is too convenient and have instead put out some crazier hypotheses some of which include aliens and others a top-secret military facility. A 4chan member told the tale of a cousin who had been a pen friend and then joined the Russian Navy and had visited Jeanette Island in the 1990s. The user eventually received a letter after waiting a few years, and it indicated that his relative's penmanship and mental state had dramatically worsened. The relative stated that over the course of several years he'd been transferred from one institution to another while staff members tried to persuade him that he was mad. I played along, so they let me leave, but I know they're holding the munch on that island, the translator translates. What they do to them there is really abhorrent. The Russians may have built a missile facility or a naval base for nuclear submarines, according to some other, more credible alternative hypotheses. Another well-liked claim holds that Barack Obama gave or possibly sold the Russians a number of oil-rich islands, including Jeanette Island. Although many of the most bizarre mysteries and hypotheses regarding Jeanette Island have been debunked, no convincing justification has been provided for why this place exists. Nevertheless, it still remains a target of censorship. Sandy Island Since at least 1774, Sandy Island, an oval-shaped landmass in the South Pacific Ocean, has been shown on several maps and atlases. In comparison to the smaller adjacent islands, it's rather considerable in size, measuring around 15 miles long by 3 miles broad. 
However, Sandy Island is now only visible as a weak, fuzzy and easily overlooked outline on Google Maps. It was initially chartered by legendary British explorer Captain James Cook, whose navigational and cartographic talents were remarkably precise by today's standards. Just over a century later, the whaling ship Velocity made the next official report of Sandy Island in 1876. British and German maps from the late 1800s as well as an Australian maritime directory from the same era all clearly depict the island in the area mentioned by Cook. But when several expeditions failed to locate the island, sand trout started to appear in publications with the initials ED alongside Sandy Island, which stood for existence being questioned. The French Hydrographic Service didn't completely delete Sandy Island from nautical charts until 1979, and Australian scientists confirmed the absence of the island in November 2012. Additionally, the team of the Australian expedition regularly measured water depths of above 4,300 feet, indicating that an island may not have ever existed in these waters. Later that month, Sandy Island officially disappeared from Google Maps, which had previously shown the island as being covered in black pixels and from maps created by the National Geographic Society. The most likely explanation for the records is that the crews of these two ships had actually seen a pumice raft, a mass of porous pumice stone produced by underwater volcanoes that floats on top of the ocean's surface. All maps had been based on the initial observations made by Cook and the Velocity. Amchitka Island Unstable tectonically and because of volcanoes, Amchitka, an island in the Rat Islands group in southwest Alaska, has a total area of roughly 116 square miles and has been under American administration ever since it was bought from Russia in 1867. Amchitka has a long and strange history. The native allowed people lived there for more than 2,500 years, but it appears that they've left the area. On Google Earth, the region mostly looks like hazy blocks, which encourages a lot of conjecture. U.S. soldiers utilized Amchitka as a strategic outpost at the airfield in the 1940s, and the military continued to use it after the Second World War. Amchitka was reportedly the site of three underground nuclear explosions, including one of the biggest ever conducted, and was chosen by the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission as the perfect place for nuclear testing in the late 1950s and into the 1960s. The purpose of the nuclear experiments, which at the time sparked intense debate and protests, was to ascertain the magnitude of the seismic impacts brought on by subterranean explosions and their impact on the makeup of the Earth's strata. Several experiments on Amchitka were conducted despite fierce resistance from protesters, and a film that has since been made public depicts the impact of the subsurface explosions on the surface, where krypton and tritium were later discovered. Although the case of Google's censorship of satellite photos of Amchitka Island is yet unknown to the general public, it is fair to conclude that it has to do with the area's nuclear past and tectonically unstable present. Amchitka will be designated a protected wildlife reserve in 2025, but it is unclear whether the island's natural flora and fauna will be able to fully recover after years of nuclear abuse. Prison de Montlucon In a densely populated district of central France close to Paris, the prison de Montlucon is tucked away among buildings and streets. It used to be a larger, less deformed oval on Google Maps, but that wasn't always the case. A well-known criminal who was formerly thought to be France's most wanted man managed to escape from the second jail in 2013 by blowing five doors open with explosives, holding four wardens hostage and utilizing a well-planned getaway automobile. On July 1, 2018, at around 11.30 a.m., the French gangster and jailbreaker who was halfway through serving a 25-year sentence for murder as the result of a failed heist made another escape, this time from the prison and even more elaborate. He was caught a few weeks later while attempting to obtain false documents and flee to Israel. Three of Fayed's armed accomplices and a flying instructor who was being kept at gunpoint were inside the prison when a chopper touched down. Fayed almost escaped and the helicopter was subsequently discovered close to the Charles de Gaulle airport. The instructor had been released from the aircraft unhurt and the gang had left in a car. French police regarded Fayed as dangerous because, quote, beyond his charisma and aura, beyond the legend, he moved in plain sight and disguised himself while on the run by wearing a burqa. In October, the police once more detained him along with his brother, two other guys and many firearms. 
It's thought that Google Maps was used to map out the prison's layout and create the escape strategy before Fayed's breakout attempt. This prompted the French government to ask Google to obscure and censor all photographs of French prisons, which subsequently led to the suppression of many other places that are comparable. We appreciate you viewing. Keep investigating the biggest secrets of this planet and beyond by liking and subscribing. Your encouragement and participation increase the number of people who watch my films and alert me to any Google Earth mysteries I may have missed.